You want to play with these toys? Look. Jackson, he's 17 months now. When he was born, we knew that he didn't have a thumb, of course. We didn't really notice a difference until they kind of pointed out that it was like not grasping right. Jackson is about to have hand surgery at Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children. Can I have it back? It's called polarization. Jackson has four fingers, so his pointer is going to be where his thumb's going to be. They're going to move his tendons over and move the bone over. We're going to make his index finger into a thumb on the right hand. As you saw by the video, he clearly uses the index finger to be a thumb already and has already turned it out. And we're going to formalize that in surgery. And that involves moving its position as well as shortening it a little bit. What's interesting about Jackson is also on his other hand, if you notice, he has a thumb, but it's very small. And it's certainly not in a great position as far as having stability and good opposition. So our plans are, when he gets older, about five years of age, to actually reconstruct it with what's called a tendon transfer. Amy Lake is an occupational therapist at Scottish Rite Hospital. She saw Jackson during his first visit to help determine a treatment plan. He was picking up different play uh, toys that I was playing with him um, with his index and long. And his index actually was already pronating and, and kind of turning into a thumb position, um, really helping us all realize that ah, this kid's going to be a good candidate for a policization. Today, the family's focus is on the policization surgery, which they say was an easy decision to help improve Jackson's hand function. There are some children that are not candidates for this. If they clearly are pinching between the ring and little finger, and not the index and middle, we would suggest that we do not do a policization. But in kids that have shown us that the index and middle finger is where they want to grab objects, whether they're small or big, then we found that rotating it into being a thumb has been a great operation for them. And we wait till they're about 18 months at least in that age range because the structures are bigger and it seems like they tolerate the procedure much better. Jackson's next step after surgery is to wear a cast for about four and a half weeks. And when they come out of the cast, we just let them start playing. And usually within about four to five months is when we hear that, bang, it's a thumb. It really almost takes someone a double take to even notice that um, there's something a little bit different about that hand versus the other. We've just had to make sure we wear the cast at night to keep his thumb, you know, sticking out, make sure it's away from his other finger so it'll more be like a thumb, I guess, and uh, keep the scar patches on, uh, allow some of that scar tissue to break down, that way uh, it won't get in his way. Work with him every day, lotioning about three times a day, making sure he works with every little thing he can. As time progresses, they, they typically use that thumb more and more. Jackson's dad's dream is to see him play on a varsity sports team something Dr. Scott Oishi says is certainly possible. Very doable. Our kids have participated in all sorts of sports after this. And in fact, one of them has actually went to college on a music scholarship for piano. Jackson's using that hand um, very similar to the other hand now. And, you know, Jackson's going to be able to do whatever he sets his mind to. And his parents are really happy that their child had the surgery and that their child is more functional at the end of the day.